Hey guys, Cassandra Briggs here with imhot.com bringing you a delicious how-to video today. Memorial Day is right around the corner. I can't believe it, it's so crazy. And what better way to celebrate than with a delicious patriotic treat. I'm gonna show you how to make these dairy-free decadent desserts. To make that beautiful dessert, you're only gonna need a few ingredients. You're gonna need some fresh berries. I'm doing strawberries. You could also do raspberries as a red fruit instead. And then I'm using blueberries as well as, my husband doesn't like blueberries, so I'll be making his own special one with blackberries. But the blueberries, the color is just a lot more vibrant and pretty for the occasion. Then you're going to need angel food cake. Then you're going to need some Jello Instant Pudding. I got the Instant, again, it's quicker, it's easy, tastes just as yummy. I'm doing vanilla, the big box, and a little box of cheesecake flavor. I'm gonna mix them together, they're gonna be scrumptious. Then you're going to need um, a little measuring cup for the almond milk. Now, as some of you may know, I don't eat dairy anymore. Sometimes I cheat and I have dairy and it's bad. Uh, you can see it all over my face if I've cheated and eaten dairy. So I'm gonna be making our dessert today with almond milk. So in the angel food cake, there's no milk. Awesome, there's eggs but no milk. And then you will need a beater. If you have an electric one, awesome, good for you. If not, you're gonna be working out your muscles today. Then I have this adorable little spatula for putting the pudding onto the cake and a big bowl for mixing everything. And now we are ready to get started. We're gonna start off by making the pudding cause that is going to need to sit in the fridge while we do the other stuff. And what I'm using for pudding is one of the big boxes of vanilla and a small box of cheesecake. When these flavors mix together, they are amazing. Sometimes if you do all cheesecake, it can be a little overpowering, but by mixing it with vanilla, it is delicious. Um, this is the sugar-free, fat-free, instant jello pudding. It's amazing. And it's dairy-free. I'm going to be making it today with silk almond milk. When you make pudding with almond milk, I want to stress that you cannot use the same exact ratios that they put on the back of the box. The recipe that they give you on the back of the box is for real milk and almond milk does not have saturated fat so it is not going to get really thick like normal jello made with milk is. So you're going to have to use a little more than half of what they recommend you to use on the back. So this big box calls for three cups of cold milk and this box calls for two cups of cold milk. So normally you would use five cups since we're using both of these in there, but instead we're gonna use a little over two and a half cups for this recipe. Um, not quite three, but a little over two. And I'm gonna do that right now. And then you're just gonna beat it for two minutes. Get those guns ready. <laughs> Awesome, it's been two minutes already and I feel like my guns are gonna fall off. Um, anyways, it's gonna look pretty frothy when you get it to the consistency it's supposed to be at. You wanna make sure that you don't have any lumps or bumps or coconuts in there, because this is not coconut pudding. <laughs> now we're gonna pop this in the fridge for five to 10 minutes. Now we're gonna cut up our strawberries. These are already washed and dry. And if you never cut strawberries, I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way. You can peel the stem off first or you can leave it on there and pretty much we're just going to cut a little triangle into the top of the strawberry and that is going to take out the stem part and now we're going to cut it into fours in half and then in half again. Now if you wanted to you can cut these strawberries smaller if you have really big strawberries sometimes they need to be cut in half again it just really depends on the produce that you got that day. We're just gonna throw those in a bowl and then we're gonna repeat this process for all of the strawberries. I finished cutting up all the strawberries. Look how delicious those look. And I have left out um, four full strawberries. Those are gonna be a garnish on the top of the dessert. I'm gonna set these aside and now we're gonna cut up the angel food cake. Ugh. I love angel food cake. It's so heavenly. Oh, I'm so corny today. So good. Oop. So basically what you're gonna wanna do is cut your angel food cake into little cubes. So I just went ahead and cut my angel food cake in half. It's gonna make it a lot easier to cut. If you baked one yourself, it's probably in a rectangle pan, which will make your life a whole lot easier. But I'm setting it on its side and I'm slicing down the middle. Cuts really easily. And then I'm just going to cut little pieces about an inch 
wide. Be kind of gentle. This cake is really, really soft. These pieces are still rather large, especially considering we're using smaller dishes. So now I'm gonna take our pieces that we have and I'm gonna cut those in half. So you're gonna end up with pieces about that size. You can cut them even smaller if you wanted to or leave them big, it's all up to you. I like them this size. And the really big pieces like that, I'm gonna cut into thirds. So our pudding is nice and ready to go. And we have all of our food prepared, so it is time to put everything into clear dishes of some sort. If you have a trifle dish, that is like your best bet and that will be the cutest. I don't have one. What I do have are these glass vases that I used for my wedding. So I'm gonna reuse them as cute little dessert dishes. And we are going to start by putting a layer of angel food cake at the bottom. You just want to make a nice layer. Doesn't have to be perfect. That's good. And do that for each jar. This would also be really cute if you don't have something like this, if you don't have a trifle dish. As long as you're using clear glass, you will get the pretty layered effect. So you can use um, short glasses, you can use martini glasses. Get creative. Vases, come on. You are sure to have something in your kitchen that will look cute. And now we're going to add blueberries. So just give a nice little scoop of blueberries in there. Probably about like three handfuls is good. Depending on how big your jar is, I suppose. <laughs> Once you get your blue fruits in there, now it's time to add some pudding. And you have to have a cute spatula. I love this, isn't it adorable? was a wedding present. Alrighty, so just put a hearty scoop of pudding in there. And then if you make a mess at all, if you have some dripping, you just want to wipe that off the glass so it doesn't mess up the layered effect. And you repeat this process for all of your desserts. Add some strawberries. Love me some strawberries. There we go, just drop them in there. We're just gonna continue layering in this order until we have no more room left in the jar. So now we have reached our max capacity and we are just going to finish it off with some more pudding. The pudding acts like frosting, like how you would frost a cake. So we are gonna frost our little patriotic desserts. They're gonna be delicious. Thank you. We're almost done. Now it's time to decorate the top with the remainder of the berries. You can do any sort of design that your heart desires. You can try and do some stripes to resemble the flag. You can do little circles. I mean, it's really all up to you <laughs> and how artistic you're feeling that day. I'm just gonna do a little circle. So we got the strawberries all situated. Now let's finish it off with some blueberries. I'm gonna leave a tiny little section open in the middle for the strawberry garnish. So cute. I can't wait to eat it. <laughs> now let's add our little strawberry. And voila, our desserts are all done and they are ready to eat. 
These are for sure gonna be a hit if you take them to a party with you over the weekend, or maybe you just wanna kick back at home and have a delicious patriotic dessert. Anyways, they are gonna be delicious no matter what. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any questions at all, please leave them in the comment down below. Be safe this weekend, and also, please let me know what fun are you having this weekend. I'll see you guys next time. Stay hot, bye. Thank you.